Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to the Spirit Pick Me Up reading. So you know after the last two readings that I did on my channel, um, I wanted to dive in deep and connect and use all these decks and really go in deep and connect with Spirit and find out what we can keep in our minds and hearts as we go forward. Um, in the last two readings, if you didn't see, there was a lot about claiming peace for yourself. Even right now, setting up to do this video, when I usually click uh, Do Not Disturb, because I do all these videos just on my phone, I don't have high-tech stuff, um, clicking Do Not Disturb, you want to keep that in your mind, in your heart, that Do Not Disturb, like you, not just on your phone, but you can do that in your days up ahead, what we're experiencing, Do Not Disturb, um, meaning like come back to yourself, have peace. Um, really a do not disturb because we're holding it in our bodies there's a lot about releasing um, the stress the anxiety um, just the tension I mean this has gotten just painful all the way around um, what's going on so just look for outlets and some peace for yourself is really coming through in every reading that I've been doing up to this point in this last week and um, what was the other one and just step by step results will be coming in and just to have peace in the meantime. So we're gonna tap into the spirit, we're gonna tap into natural oracle for life to get uh, mind, body, spirit messages, tapping into spirit, what we can keep in our minds and hearts as we go forward. Then we're gonna tap into real divine self-care, what we can do for real divine self-care. I think this is gonna be really important during this time. How we can remain connected to real divine abundance at this time. What is in our divine power? Um, there was a lot coming through about what's not in our control to have peace when it's not, but there's a lot that's still in our divine power. And most of all, it's to stay uplifted in your spirit, in your personal power, in the physical, no matter what's going on. There was a lot about like being queen of wands at this time, okay? Still holding on to your spirit, your personal power. Um, then we're going to get divine spirit messages from divine spirit to our divine spirit. And then we're going to end it with pure love from spirit, from loved ones passed on in our spirit guides. So I just want to get right into it and just get messages for our body, mind, and spirit from spirit at this time. They know, they know who is watching. I have will say I don't, again, advertise or try and grow my channel. But if you're guided to find readings or messages, it's for you. And um, they know who's here. I always believe that. And they're tuning into your energy. Um, and they're going to give us messages that will be clear and helpful and help us in our minds and hearts for this time. They know all that's happening has been coming through. Um, that you're getting through it with a pure heart of gold. That they applaud your efforts has been coming through. I mean, these are recurring messages. There's such support and backing and just support coming through. Um, okay, so let's tap in. Okay, are they ready? Okay, here we go. Let's get messages for our mind. But, oh, gosh, right away. Okay, these are flying out. It fell upside down. I have no idea what that card is. I'll get it after I go through. Let's get messages for our mind, body, spirit. I feel tension in my shoulders. I know we're bottling a lot of the stress that's happening in the world around us. As I say that, uh, my shoulders have gone down. It's like, find where it is in your body and... Um, listen to your body your body's holding a lot of tension um directly and indirectly we're absorbing what did i say heart of gold was the first card that fell out oh my gosh i'll get to that in a minute let me get the other cards what did i say did they say that they look at you as a heart of gold getting through this time as a heart of gold when i took this picture it was the it was such a windy day and there was this golden leaf staying staying there intact golden shining bright in the sun no matter what the wind brought like it was such a windy day and it was just like holding its own we've held our own like a pure heart of gold through these times of change turbulence stress all of the fever of the energy going around us like this we are intact we are at peace we're shining bright heart of gold they're saying that's how we got through this time that's what they're saying um they were just saying if you could just hold your light through this time bravo to you applauding your efforts for all you're doing to remain intact heart of gold um, claiming peace in the moment when it's so windy. It literally says, no matter what happens around you, through, through the winds and times of change, let your heart remain intact and golden. Keep shining with a pure heart of gold. And I have chills because this has been a recurring message through this time because it's enormous winds of change, enormous times of change. There's a lot of 
wind and energy of freneticness around us. Um, there is so much going on around um, directly, indirectly that we feel, but we're holding our own through this time, shining bright. And let your heart remain intact and golden and keep shining with a pure heart of gold through these times, winds of change. And the next card we have is Loving Memories Planted. Um, this is so beautiful, okay? Loving memories have been planted in your heart to have forever. Hold on to them and cherish them. They will fill you with love wherever, whenever you need them. Whenever I get this card, I always think of um, things of the past that we're hold we have fond memories or loving memories. It also makes me think that we're planting loving memories now as well. Um, but also like with the efforts that we're doing, like we're planting with love at this time, no matter what it looks like, but then also we're holding back, we're holding, uh, there could be a lot of reminiscing going on. I always feel loved ones passed on, um, also like a closeness with them. Like you might feel when I said like backing and support, our loved ones passed on have been coming through very strongly at this time. You may be really reminiscing at this time feeling backing and love and support. They're seeing like we're always connected. Um, I know for one, like myself, um, during this time, um, I've really been reminiscing in my mind or coming across things, uh, items that actually belong to people I love that have passed over and I feel bathed in love and support um, and that. So that's really coming through strongly. This card can mean many different things. Whatever you're getting intuitively, don't get dis you know discount it. Um, but this is like holding on to things that are in your heart. It's like holding, um, it's at the, I want to say like the anchor of your heart. It's helping and holding you down, keeping you like that in the winds of change. Whatever you planted in your heart, it's kind of helping you to hold steady during this time. So whether it could be loved ones who have passed on or whatever you're doing in your life or whatever you're, you're holding on to spiritually wise or um, whatever you're holding on to, it's like anchoring you. I'm also finding in that. And are you ready for this? A clearing of the way. This came out in another reading that the problems that have held you back are being cleared, that they were monitoring it. So again, we're getting a clearing of the way. It's like the road is being made for you. Picture these grasses together and it's like separating. Um, so if there's a clearing of a way, a parting of the seas, a parting of the road. The road is being made for us to walk on. A pathway is now being created specially for you where there was none before. The grasses have been parted to create this path for you to go forward on now. So there's going to be a clearing of the way. Like they said, the blocks, the obstacles, they are being cleared. They're in the process of being cleared away, and we're going to be able to walk on and forward. So in the meantime, you hold your own heart of gold, um, staying stable, grounded, um, your back, your loving support here. Oh, gosh. And we have, yeah, yeah, yeah. Expect the unexpected dropping in here someone or something good is about to drop into your life unexpectedly expecting unexpected in the most unexpected times and places leaning on you know through the winds of times of change lots of change lots of unexpected things dropping in we know that it's probably going to be a lot of things dropping in unexpectedly to assist in clearing the way um, you just continue holding your own staying intact and golden through this time this is just gorgeous. Um, we've been getting that card a lot because a lot of things have been unexpected at this time, but we're like holding our own because at times of great change. You said it's the winds of change blowing through, um, but we're getting through these times. Oh gosh. Oh yes, yes, yes. I love this next card. This next card is follow the signs and it was on loving memories planted. So again, how I kind of went off on a tangent about loved ones passed on that we could be reminiscing particularly about them, that it's helping us feel anchored in our hearts at this time. They're saying follow the signs. So you could be getting loved one, like messages from loved ones passed on, feeling love, support, backing, comfort in signs that you're seeing in your physical world. It's been coming up a lot, like especially in the last reading when I, um, mentioned Whitney Houston's song Step by Step. Then someone else in the comments mentioned they got nudged to listen to Whitney's song um, Believe, I Believe. Um, I think that was the song. But there, you could be guided to music, a uh, certain song, certain lyrics at this time. If you are, definitely listen to the music. Definitely pay attention to the lyrics. They're really coming through with songs and lyrics. Um, they use that, like a whole catalog of songs and lyrics um, they can use to get the message across. So if you feel nudged, definitely listen. Listen to the lyrics. In your real life, you could stumble on things. It could be in anything. I always say that. It's not just 
signs that people mention. It's not just coins. It's not just this, this, and that. It could be a thought, a remembrance, a remembrance in your mind and heart that you're being made to remember or you feel guided to find in your day that is supposed to help you stay this way. Shining bright, you know, it's love, comfort, and everything else in the winds of change to help you shine like this with all that's going on. Oh, the card literally says, follow the signs, look out for love prints to follow as they will show up along the way. They're showing us love prints to follow as they will show up along the way. So follow the signs. So you're definitely, what I'm th picking up here with this, especially because it was unusual to see that about this card. Loved ones passed on your spirit guides. They're giving you signs uh, that keep going forward. The road will be clearing. Um, expect unexpected things to show up for you to show that there's going to be a clearing of the way. In the meantime, you're getting love support guidance from the boys passed on your spirit guides. Um, look out for those signs. And it could be in anything. Like I said, music and lyrics are a big one. You could find things that you know, or just have memories. Like something might come in. Don't discount it. It's like they're putting it in your minds and hearts to feed you. I always call it like a personal feeding. It could be anything. So don't try to explain it to another person. Just be fed, okay? Uh, yeah, guardian angel. Like I said, guardian angels are coming through so strongly during this time. We literally got the guardian guardian angel card literally in the last reading right before this. Trust everything is unfolding in perfect timing. You have guardian angels. But this card also, I love this card because it literally says, not only do you have guardian angels, but take a stand with your guardian angel at the gates of your own life to decide what to let in and out of your life. Speak up, stand strong and firm, and guard the gates of what comes and goes. This reminds me of what Spirit gave me about the do not disturb. Um, you can, you know, decide what to let in and out of your life. Claim more peace in your life at this time because everything is getting amped up in the world. Also, you, we have been getting this message throughout, throughout the last couple of months. Speak up, stand strong and firm and guard the gates of what comes and goes. So that is being in your fire, um, in your spirit. Hold on to your spirit and guarding your life and guarding the gates of your life of what comes and goes. During this time, we were getting a lot, you know, in the beginning with like, distancing you know you can guard yourself with distancing masks that but this is more energy um in addition to distancing and masks it's also your energy what are you allowing in your orbit what are you allowing into your life literally energetically what are you listening to um where's your what are you letting your mind and heart get filled with it's that kind of thing and speak up stand strong and firm and guard the gates of what comes and goes yes decide what to let in and out of your life take a stand with your guardian angels so we definitely have guardian angel help but they're saying also you know stand with your guardian angel at the gates of your own life again it's referring back to your power right in the physical so let's get some more mind body spirit messages Oh my gosh, hold your own. I love that heart of gold. They keep on referring to you who finds my videos as a heart of gold through this time. They just do. And look, open the heart gates. Yeah, open up the heart gates. Open up the gates to your heart. Let those you trust in and express your love. Um, they're asking us. They were seeing that we're opening the gates. First of all, we're like outpouring more love and compassion because that's what's needed. We're breaking through those barriers and outpouring the love that's needed, the compassion that's needed. We're doing more of that with people that you trust, but it's also a time for us to step out and express more love. Um, so it was like any obstruction or anything that we had in our minds and hearts that prevent us from doing that were needed. They kept on saying we're like co-creating the healing, co-creating. We're coming through these gates with more levels of love and compassion. What's been going on has actually pushed us to do that, to rise up and do that. So open up those gates, release that love, that compassion, express your love at this time. Express what you're speaking up, standing up for, um, especially when it comes with love, with caring, with compassion. Oh gosh, because you're needed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're talking about the slight turbulence that's going on in the world around. Remember, we hold our own. We're a heart of gold with the winds of change, right? Times of change, winds of change. They're calling it slight turbulence, okay? You may be feeling some turbulence from others right now, but know you are right now taking off and leaving all that negativity behind as you move higher and farther away from it. You are now set to land in a much better place. And that is the affirmation. 
know that through the slight turbulence, again, know at this very moment, we are in the process of leaving all that negativity behind. We're moving up higher and farther away from it, and you are set to land in a much better place. We have to trust this is what's happening, okay? Oh my gosh. Now, let's get into real, we're going to tap into real divine self-care, okay? Let's get into real divine self-care. As they're saying, your heart of gold, through the winds and times of change, of unexpected things coming, um, and this slight turbulence, they're acknowledging, but we're going to be landing, and there's going to be a clearing of the way, right? And you need to find your guardian angels and take a stand with your guardian angel. Keep opening up that heart of gold. Keep opening that heart of gold, right? Show your love, your compassion, making things better at this time. Okay, what can we Real divine self-care. What can we keep in mind for real divine self-care? As we're going to land in a much better place. We're set to land in a much better place. Oh my God, two came out right away. Okay, let's see. Yeah, follow your heart. Let it light up the way for you. Open the heart gates. You can't make this up, right? Open up the heart gates. Follow your heart. Let it light up the way for you. Follow your heart. You're set to land in a much better place. Heart of gold, right? Follow your heart of gold. I mean, you can't make it up. You follow your heart of gold through the winds and times of change. We're set to land in a better place. Open up the heart gates. It's through higher levels of love compassion that it's uh, all of us collectively doing that following your heart let it light up the way for you absolutely and the next card we got give yourself permission to express all your divine creativity and act on divine ideas open up the heart gates if you're getting um follow the signs you're getting nudged to um you know act on divine ideas you get a creativity any um idea inspiration it's giving yourself permission they also said rise up in the fullness of all you are you already have permission so it's almost like permission to rise up in the fullness of all you are express all your divine creativity and act on divine ideas remember express yourself that was part of guardian angel too. speak up stand strong and firm and guard the gates of what comes and goes you have to give yourself permission to express yourself right what are you standing up for? What are you speaking up for? What are you allowing in? What are you not? Express your divine creativity and act on your divine ideas because you're a heart of gold. So they kept on saying we're like co-creating this. So those are the two number one things to do. Follow your heart and give yourself per permission to express. Okay, that was the two that wanted to come out. So let's go now to real divine abundance. How we can remain connected to real divine abundance at this time. No matter what it looks like, you have to always stay connected to real divine abundance. Okay. You have real divine abundance messages. Real divine abundance. Real divine abundance. What are the messages to create? Ooh, to stay in, in touch with real divine abundance. Your power is in this moment. So use it positively and creatively, making the most of it. So they're saying our power is right now, think positively, do positive actions right now, creative things, making the most of it. That's where our power lies and that's where our connection to divine abundance is. Your power is in this moment to use it positively and creatively, making the most of it. Not getting sucked into the trappings. Remember the guardian angel, right? Guard of what comes and goes, what you're allowing into your life. Your power is right in this moment, using it positively and creatively and making the most of it. So let's see what else we can get. Oh, gosh, for real divine abundance. Okay, we've got a whole bunch. Be full of appreciation for all you have right now as it only attracts more to appreciate. Believe in yourself. Oh, my gosh. Believe in yourself and in all your divine abilities to achieve more. In the reading right before this, they, we literally had a card that said, believe in yourself we believe in you. Believe in yourself and your abilities. We believe in you from our loved ones passed on. So again, they're saying we have to believe in ourselves. We also got the star, which card, the major arcana, which said believe in yourself. It is time. Believe in yourself and in all your divine abilities to achieve more. Um, so there's a lot that we can achieve right now. Believe in your abilities, right? In the meantime, appreciate all that you do have right now because that's the point of attraction. Take the steps now to further expand yourself and your opportunities now. So it's time to take, they kept on saying step by step by Whitney Houston, that song, um, the reading right before here, it was step by step. We're taking those steps now that will further expand yourself and your opportunities now. So reiterating, it is step by step, right? So we're taking those steps to further expand and expand our opportunities. 
that's what we're doing step by step. Remember, your power is in this moment. So keep doing, using your power in the moment positively and creatively. We mean appreciation of what you do have. It's like you're you're taking the steps now to further expand yourself in opportunities, but it is step by step and uh, believe in yourself, which is a recurring message. I mean, you can't make this up at all. Okay, so what is in our divine power? What is in our divine power? What is in our divine power? What is the thing that is in our... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, wow, wow, wow. You have divine power to bring more awareness in here. We may be instrumental in bringing literally more awareness in here at this moment. You have divine power to connect with for more support. Like I said, that's the, what I was really getting profoundly with that. Like loved ones pass on your spirit guides. You can ha do put on a do not disturb and like connect more because there's a lot coming through with um, signs, symbols, messages, being guided for more love and support directly from loved ones passing on your spirit guides. Oh, we have four. You have divine power to make it happen. Remember, we had stuff. We're taking the steps to expand and have opportunities. And you have divine power to start. So there are some things that we are in the process of about to start, which is in line with right before they said that there is new beginnings coming in here. So we have the divine power to start, like start again, start anew. Um, bring new to the old, um, to start something else. Um, that's what has been a recurring message as, uh, uh, as well. I mean, and this bringing more awareness. So they kept on saying, we're, we keep going and growing. We're expanding. Like back there, the other card was like, we're expanding. We're expanding even our, in our consciousness, our awareness. Um, connect more with spirit. That goes with the loved ones passed on. Spirit guides giving you messages and guidance. You have divine power to make it happen and to start. So there's a lot of things that are going to be new coming in here. Um, for us to collectively and individually start. And they're saying you have the divine power to do that. Um, connect more for support. So, okay. So let's get divine spirit messages for our divine spirit. Let's get direct divine spirit messages for our divine spirit at this time. Okay. What are the divine spirit messages for our divine spirit? Feel so much more relaxed. Like I said, clean peace. Divine, ooh, right here. Release the drama of it. Release the drama of it. Talking about being a guard, like the guardian angel, uh, guarding the gates of what comes and goes. What they made me say in the beginning, you can put a do not disturb on. You can let the release come out of your body. My shoulders have gone down as this readings have gone. Release the drama of it. There is so much drama. And just like that heart of gold card where there's spinning and then there's um, winds of change blowing through, you can release the drama of it. Release the drama of it. Take a stand with your guardian angels and release the drama. Release the drama. Okay. And we have, yes. Release the drama and surround yourself with positivity. Remember, they kept on saying that. Um, be positive. This moment, your power right now in the moment is to be positive and creative. Um, and release the drama of it. Surround yourself with positivity at this time. Surround yourself with positivity. And your direct divine spirit message. Is there any other? That's pretty clear. Release the drama of it and surround yourself with positivity. Is there another one? Yeah. Oh, my God. Show up and be there fully now. Wow. Show up and be there fully now. I have chills. This is like reiterating everything I've been saying about. They keep on saying, first of all, you have permission to rise up in the fullness of all you are. Stand up. Speak up along with your guardian angels and what you allow in. What? Oh my gosh. And then it's saying, show up and be there fully now. That's what they're asking of us. Show up and be there fully now. In the Akashic Records reading for November, they literally said it's in our divine contract right now to show up, um, to be there fully now. It's like rising up in the fullness of all you are. Um, show up and be there fully now. I mean, this is like such a pivotal time um, individually and collectively right now in the world. So it is release the drama of it. Surround yourself with positivity, positivity and show up and be there fully now. Pretty amazing. Okay, let's get pure love from spirit to end this reading. Oh my gosh, pure love. 
pure love from spirit, pure, pure love from spirit. Okay, we got a whole bunch. We got, we are here for you through this. Okay, I mean, I almost have tears in my eyes the way that card just hit me. We're, we are here for you through this. This has been coming through over and over and over again. They're giving you signs, symbols, messages, whether it's through these readings, whether it's through songs you're guided to listen to, whether it's things showing up in your life, whether it's memory that just flashes in your mind or in your heart. You're being loved, supported, and guided through here. They are here for you for, through this absolutely recurring message. We know how you feel. We know how you feel. We are here for you through this. We know how you feel. You're not alone. They know what we're going through. They know all that's happened. We know how you feel. Let's get some more messages. Your love from spirit. We are here for you through this. We know how you feel. Okay. And we want the best for you. Is that beautiful? Oh my God. Okay. I'm going to end it here. I'm getting teary eyed. So we are here for you through this. We know how you feel. We want the best for you. So in the meantime, release the drama of it. Surround yourself with positivity and show up and be there fully now. So there's going to be a lot of, you know, winds of change blowing through. You're getting through it like a golden heart, a heart of gold. Open up the gate. Speak up. Stand up. It's following your heart at this time that's getting us through this. The path is being cleared. Um, has been saying and st take a stand with your guardian angel of what you allow to come and go. I mean, this is show up fully and be there fully now. Oh my gosh. I mean, release the drama of it. I mean, I feel like they summed up all the cards underneath with these six. So release the drama of it. Surround yourself with positivity. Show up and be there fully now, which is like rise up in the fullness of all you are. Even more of your higher self even is like step up with more levels of love and compassion and speak up, stand up, and all of that. We're here for you through this. We know how you feel, and we want the best for you. So this has been the Spirit Pick Me Up message and reading. Take care. Bye-bye.